Use a vegan, but you go in hand. Yeah. Hey YouTube, welcome to Pretty Brown Vegan, a place for plant-based comfort foods. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I make my vegan fried chicken. So if you guys are interested in finding out how I made this, then go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our ingredients. I will be using one fully thawed pack of Gardein chicken scallopini, some coconut milk, some Frank's red hot sauce, some flour. These are my army of seasonings today, as well as some cayenne pepper and some apple cider vinegar. So once you have all your ingredients ready, let's go ahead and get started with the breading. We're gonna start with the wet ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and put our coconut milk in there. Make sure when you use your coconut milk, you are skimming the fattest part off on the top. That's the thickest part. And then add in your hot sauce and apple cider vinegar. All of the measurements will be down in that description box down below. Then just go ahead and whisk that up and set it to the side. Make sure you do this before you do the dry ingredients so it has time to set up. Now we're gonna go ahead and season our flour. So with the seasonings that I'm using, as I say in most of my videos, I love the season to taste. You can see I get a little bit crazy with the seasonings that I really like. So you can just go ahead and do what works best for you, but I will still, be, still give you guys some suggestions down in the description box below. So just make sure you guys whisk this together really thoroughly. I start off with a fork, but as you can see, I will go back in here with an actual whisk just to make sure it's really well combined. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set that over to the side and start working on the chicken. Again, make sure this chicken is fully thawed before you start mashing it up with the pork. And then I like to hit it with a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. It already comes lightly seasoned, but I like to just go ahead and give it just a little bit more salt bay on top. So I just go ahead and toss a little bit of that in and then keep um, mashing it up until it's ready to be shaped into some patties. And then when you're forming it into the patties, make sure that you are ready to get your hands a little bit messy. Um, and then um, for me, the one pack makes two thick patties. But you can shape this into whatever, you know, sort of style that you like. If you want to make some breasts, you can make it a little bit uh, flatter. If you want to go for some thighs, then make it a little bit thicker like I did here. But whatever kind of shape you're going for, once you fry up your chicken, that's completely up to you. And then once that's ready to go, you're ready to go ahead and bread. First, I like to put it into the flour so that it's easier when you go ahead and put it into the milk so that it sticks. So I do flour and then I do wet and then I do flour. That's one coating. I'm more of a two coating girl. I think that when you do two coats, it makes it a little bit more flakier, a little bit more crispier. So you can get that crunch when you bite into it. So, you know, once you hit that crunch and all the juices start coming out for me, that it just seals the deal. So I go ahead and put it back into the wet and then back into the dry. You, can guys, you guys can go ahead and see what it looks like with just the one coating though right here. And then boom, we're gonna go ahead and double bread and repeat the same process on the other one. And then you will be ready to fry. Make sure that the grease is already heating up while you're doing all of this. It needs to be really hot at 375. Right, so it's time to fry. Please excuse my fryer, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, I go ahead and toss some water in there just to make sure it's really hot and ready to go and go ahead and plop it right on in there. Make sure you're being careful while you're doing this. And then I just go ahead and let it fry until it is golden brown on the outside. And then this is it, this is my vegan fried chicken. I feel like it looks just like some fried chicken to me. Um, it's flaky, it's crunchy, it's got all of the juices on the inside. The chicken is not dry, okay? So if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below and please subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.